Hi, Substance Painter 8.0 is already here. And the update is really exciting, as it brings major changes in baking system. Let's see some cool changes in baking. I'm going to upload the low poly first. We used to go to texture set settings for baking earlier. It is also same now, but a shortcut for baking have been added up here. So, it is more easy to go to baking with this icon. Okay, once we go to the baking mode, the layout is completely changed. All the panels have been rearranged. And we can preview the mesh in 3D mode while in baking. That's really cool. We can see all the pink wireframes here. It's not wireframes but actually Painter is showing us the seams. All the hard edges, if they are not UV cut or not smooth, Painter will show these kind of pink lines. Though, it will make us easy to find the places where we should cut the seam or smooth the mesh. It is all before baking. In earlier versions, we have to bake the mesh, and then only we will know about those mistakes. Now, can be known before baking. For this particular mesh, I have to smooth it, and once again bring it to Painter. Let's do it. Now, there's no pink lines, meaning there is no need to cut seams. Smoothing is alright. We can change the colors of these parameters as we want. When we load the high poly, it is shown in blue color. And the missing poly, either of low poly or high poly, is shown in red color. Here, I have extra polygon in high poly, and don't have those parts in low poly. So, the missing parts are showing in red. High poly mesh and low poly mesh name errors are also shown here in matching by name. Since I have no name error, the list is all clear. Another cool thing is that, now we can actually see the baking cage. When we change the max frontal distance slider, we can see the cage growing and shrinking. The red parts appearing means we need to increase the frontal distance. It was a must-have update in Painter, and now here it is. Tough, it needs more updates and changes for more efficiency. Let's bake the texture. Now with this update, we can view the baking process in 3D. We can rotate around and see which parts are being baked. It really helps to see the mistakes in the mesh while it is baking. Previously, we can't do it. Baking freezes all the stuffs. So, this much for today. You can share your views on your experiences with the updated version of Substance Painter. Please write down in the comments. See you in the next video.